Guys, they said only of you was so frustrated on getting an information that uh, Kwenomi have traveled to UK with uh, Tadenikawo again, my people. <laughs> and they said uh, sometime last week, or the last two weeks, there was this information that all the palace uh, staff, both the guards, the maidens, the KBC employed for her in that real mansion, that Kwenomi uh, discharged all of them and employed new seats. Then KBC was still able to assess the royal mansion. Because from what we heard, they heard, they said it is Queen Naomi's fingerprint and KBC's fingerprint that can open that royal mansion. You know? So, but unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, Queen Naomi maybe is seeing those people that he employed that maybe they might be working for other Oloris. Of course, it's possible. Because, you know, most servants, when you show them money, they will stop being loyal to the person that employed them. They must be working for it, be any of these other lorries, because this, those ones, they are ready to pay a big amount of money just to get the information that uh, they want. So, now we are hearing that Konami have discharged them, employed new ones, just few. And even that uh, house in Abuja, we have also heard that Kabi, that Kwenomi have discharged all the servants there, that she will not be needing their services again. So Kabi Esi was so excited over the results from the diviners that he employed to come and check the future of his voice. And this thing came out well. You know, a lot of people are saying that had it been that uh, uh, Tade Nikawo is not with a clan spiritually, that KBSC might decide to let Queen Naomi go, you know, kind of free her, give her her freedom and all of that, because we all know that he have refused to give Queen Naomi her freedom. So, uh, on getting to that place... They said, KBSC find out that new people have been employed and they opened the, the gate for him anyway. But you know that those ones, they don't have access to the royal mansion itself. So they said when KBSC drive in with his uh, entourage, then he got inside to open the door because you know that it is his house, even though he has given it to Queen Naomi. Unfortunately, he find out that even the padlocks and the everything has been changed. The second BSC became so devastated. Meanwhile, apart from these people that KBSC employed to be monitoring Queen Naomi, I mean the servant and the royal mansion and everything, they said KBSC have someone, two people, yes, they said they are two, two guards, well-trained guards, that their mission, KBSC found them to be monitoring Queen Naomi's movements you know, to give him information about every step that is that Kwenomi makes. But these people are not closer to, they are not living with Kwenomi, yes. Because if there is no how they will be living in the same place, but it is their duty to monitor her movement and all of that. But a lot of people are saying that maybe, maybe these people are no longer happy with the way KBS is treating Kwenomi. And that is why they have decided not to be reporting to him. The accurate information again. What they do is sometimes they will just give out one information or two that will not be so detrimental to Queen Naomi's movement or anything. And this is happening because they don't like the fact that KBC is busy gathering women in his palace and yet he doesn't want to let Queen Naomi go. So when KBC find out that Queen Naomi traveled, they said KBC became so frustrated. One thing that KBC doesn't like at all is the fact that. He, uh, when Nami will travel out of the country with Tade Nikawa without letting him know that that thing always gets to him so badly. But at this point, I don't think Nami cares. She no longer cares. What she is doing right now is what she wants to do. After all, Kabiyesi himself does not uh, care about Nami in his own decisions. So why will Nami care? Why will she care? All this why she has been caring, thinking that Kabiyesi will come around or change. But as the day passes by, KBC gets worse by the day. So why would she care? Nobody will blame her for making her decisions these days without involving KBC or 
having KBC in mind or anything. Because there is no how you would tell me that you just post a, a, a young lady's a young lady as fresh and young as Queen Naomi. You post her life. You are moving with your own life. Even when they, you are asked to uh, release her, give her her freedom, you are saying that the only condition you will give her her freedom is if she will remain single. For what? Are you single? Kabi are you single? They say Queen Naomi no longer cares. These days, whatever that pleases her is what she is doing. And that royal mansion belongs to her. And she have locked it up and leave. But that, that side, I don't know what to say. Maybe she decided to change the padlock because of the involvement of the Oloris. Because we heard that only recently that the Oloris have started trying to see if they can assess that place. Saying that uh, if Kenomi says she's no longer interested, that she should vacate Kabiesi's second uh, palace. Because you know that that place is as good as Kabiesi's second palace. But one thing they do not know, or maybe they know, but they just want to cause problem is because is that... Uh, KBC have changed the ownership of that house to Queen Naomi if that information is true because that is what we heard so they said KBC was very angry with this uh, security guards for not telling him what the, he needed from them because they cannot say they don't know about his movement KBC is paying them heavily from what we are hearing to monitor Queen Naomi's movement and that is to say that everywhere Queen Naomi goes they will follow Hmm? But is that to say that KBAC every morning they will just bat? Okay, what if Kenomi makes a move when they must have gone back to their house and everything? You know, because they are telling KBAC that they don't know about it. So they have been following her, but they don't know when she make that move and all of that. But it is obvious that maybe they are not happy with the way KBAC is treating Kenomi. That is why they decided not to give him all the information that he needs. And they say Kabiesi is very, very angry and fired them without wasting time. And this time, he's not going to pay them for the month and all of that. I don't know, but all I know is this. Kwenami have tried. And they said the main reason why Kabiesi was going to see Kwenami this time is to go and break the news of that diviner's uh, result. That he employed diviners to check the future of these children. That his son, her son Tadenikawo is the only one with a crown. That uh, uh, the, the main purpose is to let Kwenami know about that and also see if he will be able to convince Kwenami to uh, not to leave him, so that they will join force together and raise Tadenikawo to be a better king tomorrow. Hmm. My people, when I hear that news, I say, Kabiesi, go and rest. Go and rest. Go back to your numerous wife. They will still give you a son that have a crown again. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, now that is what we are here. Don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and share my video. I love you guys. And follow my page, okay? Bye. See you.